All right, Lynchpin family. This is Northern Northeast Maine. We live in Alexander. Our garage gym is not attached. Yesterday we had a big blizzard. So the first thing we did this morning was shovel out the garage gym because we never miss a Monday. This is our little PR bell that my husband set up for us. Turn on the light. This area used to be a meat processing uh, area on the back half of the garage. Um, this is the door, so I actually have a door that separates the garage from my little she shed. Um, right inside the door, we've made use of every area that we have, um, boxes that we've painted and put on the wall to hold gloves and different compression sleeves, wrist wraps, knee sleeves, um, hydration packs from when we did Spartan, Tough Mudder, my little uh, inspiration bar up there. I'm a huge fan of the Hulk. If I could be any superhero, it would definitely be the Hulk. My husband for Christmas got me a brand new bar this year. Smash that PR. Right after you get inside the door is a nice, big, collapsible row rig. We originally thought that we wouldn't leave it up full time, but then realized once we got the rig in that we didn't have enough room to collapse it. So we just left it up full time. Um, we got some of these plate holders for the side of the rig, but because space is at a premium in here, we've just put them alongside the back wall and then made our own out of pipe that we painted black. An extra bar holder for me. My husband made this so I know what the conversion is quickly. Um, another, this is from Rogue, that holds our plates. We, he made a little shelf for wall balls, slam balls, my running blade for when we're not covered in snow. I definitely plan to add an assault air runner this summer. Um, I have a assault bike and I have a Concept 2 rower that I love, but I really do love to run. Um, a bench that was new this year. Cleaning supplies were pretty um, neat. Chalkboard that I made to put all the little abbreviations um, and also PRs and whatnot. Um, this used to be a window here, but in one of the wind, terrific windstorms that we had when we first moved here in 2018, the window blew in. So because where that window is, it's part of where we store our wood for our wood stove, we just decided to cover it over and use it as another uh, whiteboard area. I do have a heater in here. I'm very lucky, very fortunate that I work for an oil delivery company. So I have a propane fired uh, heater because it is below zero a lot here. And as you can see, I've got kettlebells on it right now. We are gonna take one of these shelves and put it over top there so that I can get my dumbbells on top without them melting. Um, also, my bars can go right on top of here. My husband did this for me. Um, what else? Oh, this is, I can start this. I'm a five o'clock in the morning workout person, and this is a remote start set, um, 
thermometer that as soon as my alarm goes off at 4.30, I roll over, I hit the Sensi, and it fires up the heater in the gym because I'm telling you, below zero, the steel is cold and the Concept 2 does not like to work either. That's why it's positioned next to the heater. It's like the grease or oil or whatever it is on the chain freezes. Um, our little dumbbell rack. Um, this little ab roller was something new we added this year that is unbelievably difficult. We've got our linchpin banners, of course the American flag, uh, different medals from Spartan, Savage, Festivus Games. We've got our whiteboards on this wall. This, these are actually doors that we've put plywood over because they leaked uh, very badly. Um, once winter's over, we go through a mud season and then two weeks of black fly season. And these black flies are just nasty and they bite. So we wanted to make sure that nothing got in when we were working out and sweating, but this year we we're gonna take that down and fashion some kind of sliding glass door. Um, my husband made this little container out of PVC to store my PVC um, uh, exercise things. Um, we call ourselves Wacko CrossFit because we live in Washington County and there's never a shortage of ravens flying overhead, uh, home of the Ragnar Rockers. As you can tell, we definitely are a Marvel family. Just another pegboard to hang bands from, painted my Hulk green. Another little reminder that my husband made for me, no crying beyond this point. Um, and that is basically our area. It's a smaller area with a, not a lot of ceiling height, as you can see, but I've got my bands on the rig because I've been really focusing on strict pull-ups, which are very difficult. Um, lighting, we were working on the lighting yesterday during the blizzard, trying to make sure it was around the top. We used to have it in the center, but my husband's 6'2", and when you're jumping rope in a kind of small contained area, it, it can be difficult, even for me. Um, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. We love linchpin programming and hope to see you all in the open.